Well, he's known for his art that covers buildings and walls, but you might not know much about what's behind the lens. French artist JR uses his photography and art to give voice to those around the world. On this week's 60 Minutes, Anderson Cooper reports on the photographer who calls himself JR. Here's a preview. That word dignity to you is important. You know, the people made me realize it's important in every single place. Thing. Dignity is something that all of us want. All of us. No matter Anywhere. what. No Any matter the background. That's the little girl. What, because the issues people are facing are life yeah, and death? Yeah, of course. Dignity goes to the way we're being seen by the others, the way we portray ourselves. I think some people hearing that are going to say, look, you're telling me that people, you know, who don't know where their next meal is coming from are struggling to survive, care about art? You know what? Yes. Magali Laguerre Wilkinson is the producer for this story, appearing on 60 Minutes this Sunday. Welcome. Thank you very much for having me, <laughs> Vlad and Anne-Marie. So why did the team at 60 Minutes decide to do this story? You know, I think in this era of you've seen everything everywhere already, this was one of those that I came to them with and I said, you know, here's something, here's something new, here's something different. And, uh, and they said yes right away. So we just took off and did it and it was really quite a fun journey. So tell me about this artist. Why not just paint on canvas? Why not just <laughs> do it like everyone else? Why this? Because then he wouldn't be on 60 Minutes now. <laughs> um, because he is, he, he's doing something that's actually not very new, right? I mean, street artist, street art has been around for as long as time. Um, it started in caves, if you will. <laughs> but um, but he's taking it to a different level, as in the scale of what it is. And it's really to give a voice to the voiceless, um, a platform to the forgotten. Uh, and, and he sort of fell into it by accident. Really? You know, yeah. Because, yeah, yeah. because and it's, I love how you make that point from Lesko to what we see uh, <laughs> now. Um, because some of these images are, are breathtaking. And you see them and you go, what's the story behind that? Is that what you were sort of trying to mine here? Well, we were trying to mine that a little bit. What's the story behind it? And it sort of makes you stop and think and listen and um, and and really I think live vicariously through it I mean it's so in your face you can't avoid it uh, I think in this day and age we're so saturated with stuff and we want to just you know keep moving and we're we're swiping on the phones right. and whatever and suddenly you're faced with this and it makes you stop and stare like the photo of, of Kikito the little uh, Mexican toddler right. on the Mexican side of the US Mexico border looking over. He's curious about what's happening on the other side. Uh, doesn't mean he wants to come here, right? right? Um, but that's just the very subtle message. That's you really said that cool. he fell into it by accident. I, I mean, this is these are massive canvases. These, How do you accidentally put something so like this? So you accidentally fall into it because, you know, I think he, he, he felt that he was giving, again, a, a voice yeah. and a platform to the voiceless. And it started out in the suburbs of Paris during uh, the, the riots there in 2005. And and, and the youth there were being portrayed as, as, as he calls it, as monsters, mm -hmm. as thugs, whatever. And, uh, and he decided to, to put them in your face, you know, take their photographs and paste them in the nicer neighborhoods. So Parisians didn't have a choice but to face their neighbors who were that close. And how did Anderson take to the art? Uh, I mean, it just, uh, I, think, I think he thought it was a pretty cool piece. Yeah. He, he really got into it. I mean, it was just sort of like, you know, he just took it and ran with it. That's awesome. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Magdalene Laguerre Wilkinson, thank you so much for stopping by. Well, thanks for having, having me. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Congrats on the piece. Uh, you can watch 60 Minutes this Sunday at 7, 6 Central on CBS.